Welcome to Munich, one of the most beautiful cities in southern Germany and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Europe. Here you will find medieval buildings, magnificent parks, museums, restaurants and many other attractions. Munich is the third largest city in Germany after Berlin and Hamburg. Hi, this is Ki and I'm Gera. Today we made it to the city center without any traffic jams. My husband went on business and I can say I'm also on business. I'm going to shoot some videos of the city. Having reached the city center without encountering much traffic, which is more of an exception than the rule. I stepped out of the car and made my way to Marienplatz Square, passing by the Viktualienmarkt. The Viktualienmarkt is one of the Munich's oldest and largest food markets, and it's a major tourist attraction. Founded over 200 years ago, in 1807, it has long served as an important source of food for the local people. Upon reaching Heiliger Geist Church, I turned left and entered the heart of Munich's Marienplatz. We have been here together on multiple times, but in my opinion the square always feels different the same buildings, shops and monuments, yet the atmosphere is ever-changing. The historic center of the city executed grandeur and left a lasting impression. Although the cloudy weather cast a grey and a dull hue over it, however, at every turn vibrant flowers broke through the veil of gloom, brightening everything they touched. Along the streets and squares, flower beds adorned with colorful patterns got the attention of passers-by, enticing them to pause and savor the vibrant and vivid hues. The entire center transformed into the blossoming garden, refusing to let the cloudy and gray weather dominate. Taking a turn onto Weinstrasse Street, I decided to stop at an outdoor cafe. Such cafes with their umbrellas are emblematic of urban culture in many countries, including Germany. In Munich, there are numerous cozy and stylish street cafes where one can enjoy a cup of coffee or tea, simple local desserts, and soak in the unique atmosphere in the city. In continuing my stroll along the street, I couldn't help but be attracted by the bright shop windows, which acted as cheerful accents against the grey backdrop, enhancing the overall ambience of the historic center of Munich during those early hours. to many places, but Munich is definitely one of the best cities on the planet, at least in my opinion. I've arrived at Theta Square. I'll show you now. I'm 
not filming again without a gimbal, and I'll explain why. Just a moment ago, two policemen on horseback passed by. I'll show you. If I were using a gimbal, they wouldn't allow me to film them, thinking I was a reporter. And filming on a phone? You're welcome. Only the frame shakes a little. Despite reaching the city center today without any traffic jams, we still decided to use a, a different mode of transportation instead of the car. Bicycles are certainly convenient, but if you have a meeting and don't want to appear tired or disheveled after a bike ride, you need something else. Electric bicycles are available in our village, and here we choose to order electric scooters. Uh, they are supposed to be delivered today. Let's see. I will be much. Uh, it will be much easier to get around to the city with them. The scooters are foldable, so you can bring them inside if needed. And now we arrived at Odin Plaza. Just as I was approaching Home Garden, my phone rang. It was my husband requesting that I return to the car. My husband called and said that he is done with all his business, so he asked me to come back to the car. I'm heading in a completely different direction, so I'm running. bit more. Almost there. Just a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. With the speed of the wind, I reach the car where my husband is already waiting for me. Upon returning home and taking a short rest while walking the dogs, we eagerly awaited our packages. Our scooters had arrived. We didn't have to wait long. The next day we set off to the city center again but this time on our scooters. Unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to visit Hope Garden yesterday. Our first scooter ride happened 15 km per hour. <laughs> but I can say that I definitely get here faster on a bicycle. It's still cool now. And if you are riding in the head, Cycling is certainly not very enjoyable. On a bicycle, it's good that uh, the speed entirely depends on you. But here, I reached 15 km per hour and that's it. Since we didn't read the instructions, we were driving at 15 km per hour. We forgot to deactivate a setting, so now we are going at 20 km per hour. Yes. After leaving the park and reaching Odeonplatz Square, we turned onto Ludwigstrasse Street. 
we had walked along the street in our previous videos. The link is in the description. And of course, we couldn't miss the English garden. Now I am taking a walk in the English garden looking for areas where dogs are allowed and where they are not, similar to the Ost Park. But I couldn't find any specific signs here. If anyone knows, it seems like you can walk with dogs everywhere here. By the way, I have footage of the English garden in the summer, but I haven't been able to edit the video yet. I still have footage from the English garden from last year that I haven't processed yet. I haven't decided which video to work on next. Should I share a stroll through the English garden or our adventure with Luna along the hidden parts of the Swiss mountains? I'll include a few frames from each video. Let me know which one you'd like me to post first. We reached a dead end. Uh -huh. I can see the village, but I don't know how to get there. Riding the electric scooters was comfortable, despite the light drizzle that cut us on the way. Once we got the hang of the speed at which those scooters can move, we realized that traffic congestion, which is a major issue in the city center, was no longer a concern. Parking wasn't a problem either. I won't go into details about the environmental and fuel cost benefits. The only challenge is ensuring you're dressed warmly enough to avoid getting cold. But as you watch the skillful surfers gratefully maneuvering the water's flow on the southern side of the English park, you realize the potential that lies within each individual. We returned home in the rain, accompanied by the lively sounds of street drummers, who patiently captured the attention of passers-by and pedestrians. Thank you for your time. See you!